In the days of my youth, I was told what it means to be a man. Now I've reached that age, I've tried to do all these things the best I can. No matter how today, I'm going to be showing you the Redivis RB23 5 watt waterproof GMRS walkie talkie. The list price for the Redivis RB23 waterproof GMRS walkie talkie radio is $95 but you can get it now on the Redivis website for $42. You will not, as of today, you will not find this radio on Amazon. You can only get it directly from the Redivis website. So I will put a link below. That is not an affiliate link, but Redivis did send me two of these radios in return for an honest review. I did not think Redivis would ever send me anything again after my last brutally honest review, but apparently they've sent me these two new radios to prove that they do know how to make and sell a radio for us people here in the United States. They did not buy me off with this fashionable t-shirt, which I will prove as I go over the multitude, the plethora, plethora, of issues that come with this radio. So I will show you what comes in the box with the Redivis RB23 waterproof GMRS walkie-talkie radio, should you choose to buy one. This is not an unboxing video because as I'm sure you know, unboxing videos are stupid. Instead, I will be liberating the contents of the box so that you can see what you get should you purchase the Redivis RB23 GMRS handheld walkie-talkie waterproof. So when you purchase the Redivis RB... Oh. You may have noticed my new mat. This new mat is much lighter and more compact than my previous mat. This mat allows for much easier concealment. It's much lighter, much easier to carry around should I choose to carry this mat with me everywhere I go. So when you purchase the RB23 GMRS radio, you will receive a user manual written in what has become standard Chinglish, standard for Redivis, very poorly written. However, the pictures do come in handy, so that is helpful, but otherwise very poorly written, a harbinger of things to come, because as I have said many times, you can tell a lot by a radio by the thought, by the amount of thought and effort that the manufacturer puts into the manual. I will say though, that this radio is so simple. You don't really need the manual if all you want to do is talk to another person with the exact same radio. So maybe they did that on purpose. You will receive a belt clip for affixing one side to the radio and the other side to your belt, thereby impressing the chicks. You will receive this handsome wrist strap for securely hanging the radio from your wrist or other things. You will receive a battery charger. This has three charging pins, so I think that means that it has a temperature sensor, that it's a semi-smart charger but I can't find any actual documentation about that, so I don't know for sure, that's just a guess. You will receive an AC adapter plug, which plugs into the charger, thereby allowing you to charge the batteries of your radio using a standard 110 volt or 120 volt electrical outlet. You will receive a battery. This is an 1800 milliamp hour battery. And you will receive the Redivis RB23 waterproof GMRS handheld walkie-talkie. I've pre-loosened this door here, so do not, do not be alarmed by that. Battery inserts easily with just a snap, which is nice. And it releases easily as well. If you've ever ripped out fingernails trying to take batteries out of radios, you will appreciate that, that is a nice feature. Starting from the top, you will find an antenna that is not removable as far as I can tell. If it is removable, they've done a good job of making it difficult to figure out. There is no information in the manual about the antenna. I assume this is to help maintain the waterproofness. It's got two knobs on and off. One T, one. She sounds nice. 
and a channel selector knob, 25, which spins around and around. Eight, eight, it's got a transmit and receive light right there. On the side, you've got a push to talk button and two programmable function buttons. On the back, you've got two screws on the battery for the belt clip, so the belt clip goes onto the battery, not the radio. On the side, you've got this removable door where you can attach a programming cable or an external microphone. This is not the standard K-type connector. This is the little flat waterproof dot type connector. I don't know what that's called. I'm sure someone will leave a comment below and let us know what that's called. We would normally leave this on and screwed tightly to maintain waterproofedness. On the front, you've got the speaker, tiny little microphone hole there. And it is not a very big radio, measuring about five and three quarter inches from the base. If we include the antenna, just under 10 inches. Not bad. It's a very simple interface. You know me, I'm a very simple boy. I do prefer the simple interface, but along with the simple interface comes a few drawbacks, which I will address momentarily. Now I cannot test the power because as mentioned, the antenna is non-removable, but it has the same FARs as every other five watt GMRS handheld radio that I've tested coming in at just under one mile in my worst case testing scenario of in my neighborhood, your actual FARs may vary. And the two big sellers of this radio, one I already mentioned, is that it's very simple, very simple interface, and it is waterproof. It is IP67 rated, which means it is fully dunkable. So let's test that. I have with me the blender of death. I'm going to take the radio. This is the other radio that has the door securely attached. Three, four. And while it's turned on, we will give it a dunk. See if it works so far underwater. Yeah, you can see the when I transmit on this one, the dry one. Receive light still lights up. So I'm gonna leave this here to soak for a few minutes while I go over some of the other issues and features of this radio. As previously mentioned, it is a five watt radio. It has a very simple interface. It is very rugged and durable. It's made with some sort of hard ABS plastic and it's waterproof or at least it claims to be waterproof. We'll see in a few minutes. It's, it's a good radio. It's well-made. There's nothing wrong physically with the radio. It's a nice radio. However, there's more to just a radio than what you manufacture. Much more. So let's talk about a few of the negatives of this radio. And this seems to be becoming common with the radios that Redivis has been shipping lately. Out of the box, it comes preset with CTCS tones or DCS tones, transmit and receive on every channel, every single channel. So what this means is if you buy two of them, they both come with the same tones and there are no issues. You can talk to each other. The two radios talk to each other just fine. The problem comes when you want to talk to any other GMRS radio anywhere in the world. For example, if you go off-roading, adventuring, hiking with your friends and they say, bring your GMRS radio and you say, sure, I've got my new... It's squealing in the water. I've got my new Redivis RB23 GMRS radio. No problem until you get there and there's a problem because the RB23 comes pre-programmed with CTS and or DCS tones on every channel, transmit and receive. You will not hear anything that any of your friends says. They will hear you talking. You will not be able to hear them because those tones, those privacy tones will prevent the radio from hearing any transmissions unless the other radio has the same tones on them. The other issue, Again, it's all sounding so very familiar, pretty much the same as with my last Redivis review. Out of the box, every channel is set to narrow band. Now again, if you have two of them and you're just talking to each other between two of these exact same radios, it's not an issue. They're both narrow band. You would never notice the difference. However, pretty much every other radio manufacturer in the world, out of the box, their radios come set at all right, let's just get this over with. It's been a couple of minutes. The radio does indeed 
does indeed still work. So it passes the waterproofness test, the blender of death. It, it passes. It is waterproof. All right. So out of the box, uh, I already mentioned that it's got those stupid CTCS and DCS codes on every channel. The majority of other manufacturers set their radios to wideband out of the box, as it should be. These come set to narrowband. Why? Xenu only knows. What that means is you will still be able to talk to them. Well, first, you'd have to overcome the CTCSS code issues. Assuming you get over that hurdle, the people you're talking to on their wideband radios, assuming that they are set to wideband like every other walkie, uh, GMRS radio in the world, pretty much, except for Midland, they would hear you, but the volume would sound low. They, You would sound low to them, and they may sound loud and overmodulated. They may just sound wrong. So you'd still be able to talk, but it wouldn't sound right. Again, if you're just talking to the two radios... If you buy two of them, not an issue. As I have mentioned now multiple times, no controls on the radio, simple interface, which is good for us simple kind of folk. But that means you can't make any changes to the radio itself, like switching to wideband or removing CTCS or DCS codes. To do that, you need the software. The software. Not only do you need the software, you need the cable. The cable does not come with the radio. It costs $9 more, not a big deal. But you do, it does not come with that. So to make any changes, you need the cable, $9, and the software. These radios are not Chirp compatible. You cannot use them with the free Chirp software. Maybe someday you will. As of today, you can't. So you must use the Redivis software that Redivis provides. Doesn't come with the radios. You've got to go to the website and download it. But before they will allow you to download it, you must first make a Redivis.com account. Some people do not like to do this, Redivis, but I already have. So I do have my Redivis account that I signed in with. So after I sign in, I go and I click the download software button. But instead of downloading, I get a message that says you must log in with your account to download this software. I was logged in with my account. I re-logged in. I used a different computer. I tried different web browsers. No matter what, I am not able to download the Redivis software for the RB23 radio. My only option is to use the message box that pops up and beg to get the software. Now, I could have just sent an email to my sales contact at Redivis and said, hey, send me the software. But that would not do you any good. I'm doing this for you. And if I cheated and used my stature and influence to get around the things that you would have to do, that wouldn't be fair. That wouldn't help you out much at all, now would it? I need to go through these steps just like any other regular peasant would. And so far, my experience as a peasant with this radio has not been great. So I filled out the form begging, pleading to get the software for my new RB23 radio and 10 days later, nobody has responded. So I don't get any software. So I can't program my radios. I can't remove the CTCS, CTCSS codes. This is English. I can't remove the DCS codes. I can't set it to wideband or narrowband. I can't you. I forgot to mention, you cannot use any repeaters until you go in with the programming software and set the tones for the repeaters because every repeater channel that it comes with is pre-programmed with some random CTCS or DCS code, chances are those random codes and tones aren't compatible with the repeater in your neighborhood. So I have basically two paperweights, but they're waterproof paperweights. To be fair, they can talk to each other as walkie talkies talking one to the other. They work just fine. They work very well. But if I want to talk to anybody else in the world, if I want to use a repeater, if I want to do anything else other than just talking to each other, paperweights, Redivis, please, for the love of Xenu. Here in America, we are simple people. All we want is to be able to double size things for only 49 cents, get cheese pizza with extra cheese in the crust, and get a GMRS radio that comes out of the box in wideband mode without a bunch of stupid CTCSS or DCS tones put on it, and easy, frictionless access to the programming software. Is that too much to ask? Apparently so, because with these radios, I don't get any of that. Still works. I said they were rugged. 
So should you buy the Redivis RB23 waterproof GMRS radio? If you only plan to talk between two of these exact model radios, sure, it's a good radio. It's rugged, saw me throw it on the floor, it didn't break, it's waterproof. It's a good, well-built radio, and it has just as many FARs as any other GMRS 5-watt walkie-talkie radio. But if you want to be able to talk to pretty much any other GMRS radio in the world, manufactured by any other company anywhere, ever, and if you want to be able to change things using such technologies as programming software, then no. If you have any questions about the Redivis RB23 radio, if I didn't spell it out enough, you know how this works.